Word, son. What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jada Vine. All right, man, before we get into this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. If you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon to so be notified every time I upload. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, man, so um, pretty sure y'all saw my post on YouTube, like, I think maybe a few days ago. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Recording some of this Madden 10 footage was very stressful. It was very, very stressful. You know, I feel like people, when they mention Madden 10, they seem to forget a lot of the times that they played Madden 10 was with friends, you know what I'm saying? Or just other other users, you know what I'm saying? Whether you're playing online or you're playing with your friends, y'all can they come over or whatever, whatever the case is. But a lot of the times people keep referring to it as one of the great Maddens because they played with other users. But when you're playing against computer, it's just it's really stressful like they they make it competitive only to basically cheat the user so like let me just put it to you like this so all madden like there's a there's a difference between all pro and all madden all pro you do whatever you want the computer but all madden they make it seem like your guys don't have the ratings or the capability to make any kind of plays you know what i mean like you basically have to cheese your way to being able to beat computer and it's it's super frustrating you know like there are several times when i was recording this video that i'm trying to tackle computer and you know i'm a hit stick whore anybody else could probably confirm that they that they themselves love to rely on hit stick a lot of the times but i remember the years that madden called themselves trying to or ea ea called themselves trying to wean people away from using hit stick all the time you know penalizing people for constantly using it overusing it and you know trying to basically tell people to use it sparingly cool i can respect that but on the flip side of that majority of the time whenever you're you're in the right position to make a hit stick guys are constantly bouncing off of you they're ping they're pinballing off of you then like you're like okay well maybe i should stop using the hit stick I actually go up for a tackle because not all the time in the nfl you're gonna actually land a hit stick so you know actually use a textbook wrap-up tackle fine totally fine i respect that but when i try to do that you act like these guys are covered in baby oil and i'm not able to make the tackle from the two comes down with it So as a result of that, you always find yourself constantly having to cheat the computer or cheese the computer just so you can get ahead. Now, me, honestly, as I was recording this, I remember real quick why I didn't like Man 10 or why Man 10 is the furthest thing from my imagination or memory as far as like football games go. Like Man 10 is one of the mans I can say I would never pick up and play just off the strength of, hmm, you know what? I'm going to have some fun. Absolutely not. You know what I mean? Like I found myself abusing the slants in this game, underneath drags. I found myself doing a lot of cheesy stuff that I know I wouldn't normally do, but just so I can beat computer or I have a chance at beating computer, I pulled out those time those kinds of stops. But um, but yeah, man, NFL 10 really it really ain't all what it's cracked up to be, man. To be honest with you, if we going back and looking on it now, it really ain't all that. I remember um. I remember the whole soft drink and the soft drink TV and your mama thing. I remember I called your mama out on it and uh, don't go and take this shit and try to clickbait it and make it sound like I'm talking shit about him. So don't try that. But um, but I, I remember when he was talking about man NFL 10 and that's what soft drink TV was talking about. He tried to just defend man 10 with the whole pro tag thing, which is garbage. The whole fight for the FOMO thing, garbage. The, you know, all these things that are supposed to make man 10 so much of a masterpiece when it really, in all honesty, those are just nostalgia glasses. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of those things, pro tag was cool, but the fight for FOMO, that was dumb. You know what I mean? And then the same as that time, when they're talking about it in such a high form, they're talking about it in the realm of playing against other users. Now, other users, okay, I might see an argument with that, but as a game as the game as a whole playing against you know you got people that play franchises stuff like that against computer it's a nightmare it is a nightmare bro you know what i mean so the game really ain't all that it's just when you're playing with users that's when you're the most enjoyable but if you but if you don't have people to play with and you're playing against computer you're gonna have a hard time but let me know what you think in the comment section down below man appreciate love support y'all for showing the videos man um make sure to like button comment subscribe share the word spread the links because you know how i do but i'm going to get up out of here man it's your boy jay devon and i'm signing out peace